create some problem, create some uh, experience like that. So that is natural. If you accept the natural function of the subconscious mind, the matter is over. You need not uh, try to control the subconscious mind. We need not try to control the habit pattern. So we need not worry about that. For example, I have also uh, mentioned this example earlier also. For example, I am living this house for uh, our 10 years. And from this house onwards, from, from this house, I am going to my office or my work, work outside and return to this house. I am repeatedly doing this uh, work for um, 10 years. So after 10 years, I uh, vacated this residence for some other reason and uh, take a new residence in the next state. So one day after the, the transformation of the next state, and when I returned from my office, thinking something, we unconsciously take the bike and park in front of the old house. So here, this is the case. I have not understood that I have vacated the house. I have got the another house. So there is no problem is understand. There is no problem in our understanding. We have understood. We have understood. We have vacated the house. We are we are now residing in the next house. But uh, but we have a habit pattern because we are repeating the same thing for several years. That may be the cause. But we need not worry about the repeated happening of like this. So whenever we reach the old house, the next moment we will aware that we have mistakenly come here, the next moment we will be back into the correct house. For that, we need not pray for ourselves, I should not go to the old house, I must not be necessary. <laughs> you need not chanting for yourself, I should not go to the old house, I should not go to the old house. I must deeply understand, I have vacated the, I have vacated the old house. I must have the deep understanding like this. No deep understanding, there is no deep understanding. <laughs> but Krishna himself mistakenly stated that some deeper understanding is there. That is the mistaken word. So, but actually the understanding is superficial. There is no deeper level. Everything is in the superficial. And the superficial understanding is enough. But if we expect some deeper understanding, we will very easily come to a conclusion so Krishnamurti alone can understand, I am an ordinary person, I cannot understand. <laughs> because he is a special person, you will have that deeper understanding. I am an ordinary person, I will not have this understanding. So we will simply escape. But actually, there is no deeper understanding. The superficial understanding alone is there. There is no deeper understanding. So all understanding is only superficial. There is no deeper level. So it is a mis misnomer. The, super, the, super, the deeper understanding is a misnomer. There is, there is no such thing. <coughs> but only all understanding is intellectual, all understanding is superficial. But when we understand as a deeper understanding, we think it is, it is, it is beyond intellectual. So that is the natural, because everybody we are misreading. So actually, the very superficial understanding, very intellectual understanding is there. The here is that, that we have nothing in our superficial level to attain anything. We have to take the uh, natural happening of our mind. So that the, if you are going, if you are satisfied with the natural happening of our mind, the natural happening will, it will be in the flow. So yeah, whatever comes will flow like, like, like a living river. So that is the nature of everything. And, uh, and many masters confuse that uh, the liberation is a greater thing and the enlightenment is a greater thing. They do not know actually what is the real meaning behind that. Because many persons are uh, complicated uh, enlightenment yoga. Because yoga will have some experience. But uh, enlightenment liberation is not at all an experience. But many persons club the both club, both enlightenment liberation are same. And uh, enlightenment and uh, yoga, everything is same. But here, the enlightenment, with regarding to enlightenment, the enlightenment is purely intellectual. But the uh, liberation is not so. The liberation is only with later to our consciousness, later to our emotions. But many persons do not know, <coughs> they can.
cannot differentiate what is enlightenment and what is uh, liberation. They, they use the same word for liberation, they use the same for the enlightenment. So we, we simply misunderstood because we are unable to follow it correctly. So if you differentiate the difference between enlightenment and liberation, it is very easy. But we have nothing to do with liberation. Liberation is our natural state. We need not do anything for that. So our work is restricted only to the level of the understanding, only to the level of enlightenment. So here, when we under when we think uh, the when we think is the uh, when you take the enlightenment as liberation, we misunderstood because we are expecting some uh, way happening. We are expecting some some happening in the feelings in the in the conscious level, but actually. It has no connection. The level of enlightenment has no connection with the conscious world. So it, it has the simply the simple acceptance that you do not know anything. We did not do anything with relate to our consciousness. So when the intellectual understanding understand, it has no duty with the consciousness. The consciousness gets the natural flow. So that is the liberation. The very the very state of our mind is the liberated state. We need not attain anything. So, all masters have spoken the same thing. Even Ramana Maharishi himself said, that you are in the liberation, you are here and now you are in the liberation, you are in the mukti. But at the same time, we cannot understand why, in what way he is speaking like this. But uh, he, many masters say like that, as you are the absolute reality, so you are in the... Uh, in the uh, enlightened, in the, in the liberated state. But here, the main thing is that we have to come to a decision, we have to come to a conclusion. The intellect has to come to a conclusion. The conclusion is, uh, is important. So, with our in, our, in, our, in, our, uh, our intellect has to come to a conclusion that I have no, I have no effort is needed to attain anything, to get any change in the conscious level. So whenever it uh, do something, it creates only disturbance in the consciousness. So it creates something in the consciousness. So no creation is necessary. We have to have the understanding like this, then the, it is very easy, very simple. So the, when, when we restrict ourselves within the level of the uh, intellect, because your intellect is in our hand, so we can handle our intellect as we can. So here, we can understand, we can discuss this ourselves with an open mind, with the honest intention, that what to do, what not to do. So the intellect has the capacity to do something in the external world, and it has no business with related to the conscious, with related to the, the conscious happening of our mind. So we, when you when you understand this simple in understanding, and you and you conclude yourself that you have no business with related to the consciousness, this simple understanding is enough. And for that, but as we as we are that as we are not satisfied with anything, so we have to enquire. We have to enquire what is the role of master, what is, what is the teaching of many masters. Finally, if you understand, everybody has gone the, got the same thing in various levels, but at the same time, their teachings, in some way it helps, in some way it is misleading. So we have to, we have to be careful what is the point where they are misleading us. So we have to be aware of that also. So in that, then, then we, to the useful level, you can make use of that. But afterwards, you need not worry about that. But after, then, the main, if you, if you are understand that you need not worry about anything, and if you are sure that you have understood properly, then afterwards, you can feel the teachings of Master itself is a hindrance. Because they will distort you from somewhere. And, uh, you will feel you will feel some confusion because they you think that they are great master and you may have some understanding and you will, you cannot match your understanding with their teachings because the masters may wrongly put their words because the 
with the right, but they are, their intention is not wrong, but they are with the good intention, they may put some wrong words because they do not, they did not classify the enlightenment liberation. So without that, they put some word like this. So that is, a, that may be the reason. So we have to be, even after understanding, and we have to be careful not to be disturbed by the teachings of some great <laughs> master. <laughs> And we may also discuss with other details of this confirmation or understanding or any, anything because uh, this is the conclusive session and we can inquire with, with all related questions with related to the understanding on confirmation or any other thing and we can freely discuss and thereby we can conclude our session and you may ask something. Uh, okay. Does that what you just said about uh, this misunderstanding that is uh, inherent in most uh, teachings of the teachers? Does that apply also to the traditional Advaita Vedanta, like what uh, Swami uh, Dayananda teaches? Mm -hmm. Would you also apply that to the traditional Advaita Vedanta? Yeah, traditional. The same thing, or yeah, same. Can you say it's traditional. perfect? Oh, same. So that also is ninety-nine percent. Ninety so they they are not uh, I'm I'm not the Dayananda is only a teacher, he's not an enlightened person. But he is uh, he's a teacher. Mm -hmm. Just like he has uh, he has uh, read many things, read uh, scriptures or like thing, but uh, but we cannot take him as a enlightened person. Um, but he's a good teacher of the scriptures. Um, but Krishnamurti is an enlightened person. And, uh, but himself, but he, in, in, in his case of Krishnamurti, his words are original. But only one, one person alone, he advise some practice, advise some doing. So, uh, because we are all interested to do something. Yes. Because we are all <laughs> interested to get something. So, we are ready to do something. Uh, is there anything to do for me? <laughs> when we are, uh, <laughs> we, are, we, are in very, we are very anxious to get something for our work. For that he give, give one person work and we are satisfied with the one person work <laughs> and, and we rejected the 99 person. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people asked Jack Krishnamurti when he was expounding his uh, view how to do it. The question how <coughs> quite often and he would say now you are asking for a method if you ask for a how. No, no. If, 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 if you ask for the mother, he himself also said, you should not ask how. <laughs> if we are, if, if, uh, 99 times he will say like this, but at one time you have to do something. <laughs> so the, yeah, we yeah. catch hold of the one person and uh, we will uh, dismiss the how. <laughs> 99 how. <laughs> okay. Very practical question. Um, Personal question: Approximately, you know, how many people have you spoken to? And the interesting part of the question is, how many people do you confirm are enlightened as a result of your teaching? So actually, in the, in the case of enlightenment, if you understand, you need not struggle within yourself. You yourself can feel the relaxation comes to you. That, yeah. that is the sign that you have understood. The understand means you are enlightened. Mm -hmm. That means you you are not disturbing the natural flow of liberation. But the here we are not confirming because we are thinking if you are uh, if you are take you are to be enlightened and you have to be regarded as enlightened master, but it is not so. <laughs> Even your wife will not <laughs> agree that you are enlightened. <laughs> so you did not expect the recognition from other person. <laughs> so here, uh, so... <laughs> Do the dishes for me. Words of one person uh, that is some uh, 
some dental some dentist from nearby city he told me one thing he he taught the same thing to some other person uh, to his friends and the friends got totally from the from their sorrow but they told him i did not understand uh, i cannot say i have understood you i cannot say whether i understood you i, I do not know whether i have understood or not but anyhow i feel i have no problem <laughs> <laughs> so that is a sign of understanding so the, this kind of understanding uh, there are thousands of people have been have benefited by the my teachings my uh, and so my conversation thousands of people are benefited but at the same time but we should not expect all all benefited person must be a great master and they take the role of a master that is not necessary so for themselves whether we have any problem whether we have any struggle within ourselves or not but here we have the some some in the some habitual pattern our have so many habits are there some subconscious love we have so many habits it will come whenever we meet some problem it will come so we can very easily handle we can make use of that everything even you can take it may be some it may be some adverse feeling it may be the negative feeling we can take it as a positively for example you can make your anger fear sorrow anything you can have a positive application you need not be worry about the happenings of your feeling or emotion everything everything is useful to the external world but for psychologically nothing is there we have to give total freedom to that including yourself so we should not take a role giving freedom to something get freedom get liberation get flowing to anything so there is no entity to make the flow of everything so the total everything must be in the flow so the psychological world is concerned we must find there is no duty for us so psychologically we must be without any duty we must be without any duty no duty is there happening is it must be the total happening including yourself the personality everything everything is permitted now no nothing is wrong <laughs> so in the previously i am the uh, law graduate and uh, in a, in our law, legal studies we have a legal maxim that the king can do no wrong <laughs> there is a legal <laughs> because no king is punish a king for any uh, offense so the simply says king can do no wrong <laughs> so so you have to become the king <laughs> for your so psychologically everybody is the king so no wrong is possible <laughs> so whatever you do is uh, it cannot be punished for anything <laughs> so you are uh, exempted from anything uh, you are exempted from the law so externally you are law abiding but psychologically you are not the law abiding so <laughs> everything is good everything is bad everything is correct so no wrong is there yeah. <laughs> so when 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 let's say an emotion arises or a, or an old pattern arises and then i see myself starting to struggle with it then so we all so we have so we have to take it everything as the happening even the struggle is still this happening because you let it be in the struggle let it struggle with myself so no yeah. question so we should not take it it should be otherwise we will, this is the what is happen what is the it is there it is there right. so here the, there are many thing in this world that everything is happen by the destiny fate so you have to take it as the destiny for psychologically that you can take it as the destiny that is the destiny of yourself you have to accept it is happen by your destiny for anything Hmm. but the externally you have to do you have to yeah. you need not uh, accept everything as the destiny you have to work against the destiny so <laughs> but uh, psychologically you have to take everything as the destiny yeah i think one of the things about uh, misconceptions i've had about it like mm -hmm. is that it makes you always feel good but it's not uh, it's not always going to feel good you no, can feel whatever you feel but you don't make a problem out of yeah. feeling bad that's 
what do you say? Didn't no, you? So Whatever so. you're feeling, you just don't make a problem out of it. Mm. Because once you make a problem out of it, then you're in a fight that you can't win. Yeah. Mm. Really. Psychologically, if you accept yeah. everything is done by God, or everything is natural, yeah. everything is same. Yeah. So we should not blame anything. We should not uh, criticize or accuse anything psychologically. So you have to be total, all respect. So, but in the outside world, we can still accuse the politicians and things like that. <laughs> so in the, for there is in the case of uh, for auction, you know, auction auction means uh, sale through action. Sale, uh, auction, sale yeah. of action. The sale of action, it is a convention that uh, I am selling this article uh, with all defects, <laughs> they will say like right, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so the, 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 nobody will question after the sale is over, <laughs> some defect is there. <laughs> so, they will use to sell, I am selling this car, I am selling this vehicle with all its defects. As so, is. so <laughs> you have to accept yourself with all the defects. The <laughs> <laughs> Let it be the defective. We have to accept ourselves with all defects. Nobody to sue. <laughs> no, can't sue if you're Nobody can sue. <laughs> so it is psychologically we must accept ourselves without any question. We have to be total. We have to always we are total. So there is nothing because we, when we feel we are some uh, we we are some inadequate. There is no we should not feel inadequate. So the, that is natural, everything is natural. But at the same time, when we accept wholeheartedly, it, it is flowing, it, is, uh, it will not be like that. It is not a static thing, it is a living thing. It, our total psychological structure is just like a living river. And it will solve some adverse things, some, uh, some debt may be there, some, um, anything, everything will be washed away, the natural flowing of our mind. So we need not worry about that. Our conditioning, our wash and wash, everything will be washed away. You need not worry about that. Yeah, I have one doubt, yeah. As you have thought, I understood that liberation and the enlightenment both are different. Yeah. So, the person who is attained uh, the enlightenment, whether he is having liberation or not, or which one he has to try. And not try means just uh, for a starting time I am asking. So, so which one is we have to give more important, whether liberation or enlightenment. Our work is restricted within enlightenment. Ah. So our work is restricted within our intellectual matter. Ah. So we have no connection with the liberation. Liberation mm. is natural. natural. So ah. when we understand we have no business with the liberation, mm. you are not disturbed mm. in the liberation. So the question is that whether you disturb the liberation or not is the question. Not attaining liberation. Yeah. So when we understand, we are not disturbing liberation. Mm -hmm. If you if you do if you do not understand, mm -hmm. naturally we will disturb the liberation. If it is in liberation state, uh, inherently we have the enlightenment state, isn't it? So in uh, libera liberation is inherent, uh, but uh, enlightened you have to uh, you have to get yeah. you have to work through you have to intellect work intellect uh -huh. you have to work for enlightenment. But you did not work for liberation. <coughs> so there is any sign or symptoms for that enlightenment? As you told that liberation, you understood. So right? if you mm -hmm. if you do not struggle with yourself, that mm -hmm. is a sign of enlightenment. So that's a now we are thinking that liberation. So so liberation right? is natural. Uh, natural. So when you want to, for example, you are having some uh, sorrow, you are having some happy, you are having some fear. Mm -hmm. So if you want to control that, if you want to you have to take your consciousness under your control, mm -hmm. then you are struggling against your consciousness. Yes. You are mm -hmm. struggling against your liberation. Mm -hmm. But uh, the understanding that you have no business with that, mm -hmm. this understanding is ending. Yes. So this understanding mm -hmm. gives way to liberation. The mm -hmm. other, other kind of understanding mm -hmm. will restrict mm -hmm. uh, the liberation. Yes. So that is a, that means what kind of understanding will give you some, uh, that will not disturb the liberation, mm -hmm. that we can consider as yeah, a light. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to uh, clarify a bit the, the exact point of interference. Uh, when, 
for example, uh, anger arises, and uh, there is, uh, and I feel that there is some resistance to this to this anger. It's like this is some kind of interference, and so in, in the media after that there is resistance to this resistance because uh, another resistance about me not accepting this anger. Mm -hmm. So the question is where where is the interference and where uh, and at what should be everything I guess should be accepted. But, uh, so I here some, some anger comes uh, naturally. We must be free from anger. Mm -hmm. So it is everything is happening within your psychological structure, within your uh, intellectual mind. You we have the decision all those things. What we have to do when I have the anger? But if you have, if you do anything in the psychological world, how to deal with your emotion? The main thing is in your discussion is that how to deal with the anger. So if you deliberately do anything to deal with anger, whether you consciously trying or unconsciously trying, it has to be considered as unconscious. Or even conscious trying to control anger, you have to consider it as an unconscious because whatever happens in the psychological structure to separate itself, whether it is a conscious work or unconscious work, we have to take it as a natural work. It may be a defective one, but let it be the defective. We have to accept the defective nature of yourself. But, but this is that the external work is concerned, how to apply our anger to the external world, that is related to the external world. It is a world of action. That is the course of action in the external world. For the external world also alone, you are permitted to do something, you are permitted to think something, and you are, you, you can uh, see, you can take yourself to be somebody to do something. You have the responsibility to safeguard yourself, safeguard the situation for anything. You have to behave properly. But uh, psychologically, when you understand Psychologically, you have no duty, but even after the understanding, if you do anything against yourself, whether consciously or unconsciously, you have to take the total thing happens unconsciously. It is natural. Swamiji, is, is, it, um, is it inevitable? If you are enlightened, the liberation follows. So liberation is there. The enlightenment, when you are enlightened, you are not disturbing the liberation. You are not disturbing the happening. Okay. Now one more question. So it's out of your hands. It's out of your hands. Mm -hmm. What happens after that? No, <laughs> happening alone is there. There is no after us. There is no after. There is no after. There is no time. <laughs> when we introduce time, then we are. It is the intention of our intellect. So happening alone is there. There is no next. There is no future. I agree. It's part of that. You said you introduce time. So in, inside. Uh, inside. Our intellect. Psychological alone. We when we expect and the, the, I should not be angry. That means. In future, I should, I, should not, I should not have anger. That is the meaning. Now I am have anger. In the future, I should not be anger. That is, I must be free from anger means uh, I have to go away, go to the future. I, I am not ready to live here. I must go to the future. Yeah. Will that not also apply? I want to shift it to the external world. Uh, I have understood your yeah. flow. But in the external world, if you take all of us in this room, uh, in 15, 20, 25 years, 30 years, whatever, I mean, all of us will take one breath and we'll take no more breaths after that. We'll all go. This body will go. Mm. So there is a temporariness here. We are here temporarily mm. in this body. I'm not debating what happens after or what happened before. I'm saying that's a fact that in five, ten, whatever, in whatever form, uh, peacefully due to health reasons, whatever reason, all of us one by one will go. Um, in this temporariness, when there is a temporariness, there is great beauty because of the temporariness. Uh, because everything is passing. Mm. 
does it does this same teaching of the psychological flow mm. of allowing, not mm. not even allowing, but flowing, mm. does this not also apply here? In the case we have some duties to perform, but fundamentally inside, it's like you were talking about a dream. Um, this is also a dream, in some sense, even intellectually. I have come, I didn't know uh, I was born on some such day, then a name was given, and suddenly I became somebody, and then this body falls away. So, what happened before, what happened after, I don't know. Like in a dream. Mm. So, in a way, is this also not a dream? In which case, can I not allow the idea, intellectually, the idea of happening to be here as well? So, here, something makes you to do something. In the externally, something makes you to do something. Yeah. But psychological also, something makes us to do something uh, that is not uh, that is unconscious. That is that may be uh, not that may not be good. So, uh, for example, if you want to be free from sorrow and suffering, so you have to take it as a natural flow. So everything is good. So, but the issue we we could not apply the same rule. Everything is good. Everything is okay. But some terrorism is going on. You cannot. Uh, this is good. You cannot approve the terrorism. You have to make some certain becomes a, uh, you have to modify something. Mm -hmm. Some change is necessary, some work is necessary. So physically it is like this. Mm -hmm. But psychologically 